Right, two irons from Taylor Made. One is the brand new release, the Stealth. The other is the king of the hollow bodied irons, the P790. There is £40 per club difference in terms of cost. And what I want to know is can you justify that extra money for the P790? Or should you go for this brand new and megaly impressive, in my opinion, Stealth Iron from TaylorMade. Right, okay, so this is what we're gonna do in what I reckon is gonna be a very short and brief video because for me in a head-to-head, -head, you wanna find out some very simple and straightforward answers. Well, I do anyway, at least. And that is, quite simply, does one perform better than the other? And if it does, how did it perform better? And what separates these two clubs? Because 40 quid per club per difference, I wanna see quite a lot of advantages from the P790 over the stealth to justify that difference. And that's what we're gonna identify or not in today's video. Now, in a head-to-head -head video, obviously you've got to compare, one of the things you'll compare is the way they look. And from a shelf appeal perspective, I'm gonna throw some images on screen now, and you give me your opinion, because that's the only one that really matters. But my opinion would be a simple one. The stealth have done a massive job, or Taylor made rather have done a massive job in terms of improving a super game improvement category type iron and making it strip back, very appealing, easy on the eye. But the P790 is without doubt, in my mind, one of the best looking irons on the market. It's evolved over the four years since its first inception. And I think, like I said, really good looking irons. So for me, if it was shelf appeal in itself, I would definitely choose the P790. That said, I think the Stealth is a really, really good looking iron for the category that it's in. The second thing for me that you're gonna look at is the way these two look at a dress, because again, in previous years, if we looked at the SIM product, if you'd compared the SIM to a P790, there'd have been huge differences in terms of this top line. But now, not so much. Yet again, they've done a huge job in thinning off this top line. The overall profile of the Stealth has been reduced massively. And now, the difference between the two well, it's very minimal and it quite surprised me just how close they are in terms of looks at a dress. Yes, the Stealth is bigger overall in its profile, but it's much closer now to the P790. So that super game improvement iron compared to maybe what you class as a game improvement iron or a player's distance iron, that gap has closed. So again, brings them much closer together when you're considering which one you might buy. And next thing you might want to consider is the loft or the strength of loft of these irons because again, it's a bit of a separator. The two seven irons, 30.5, the P790, 28 degrees in terms of the stealth. So again, that stealth, that super game improvement type loft, 30.5, they now call it a player's distance iron. Two and a half degrees separate them in loft, so we're expecting to see difference in terms of performance. The other issue perhaps with the Stealth is the gapping of the lofts tends to be a little bit broader and wider than you'd perhaps uh, want in an ideal scenario. But what happens in terms of performance, will this Stealth at 28 degrees or two and a half degrees stronger, will it travel so much further than that of the P790? But more importantly, how will it get there in terms of its launch angle and its descent angle and what impact does it have on spin? And the next thing for me is forgiveness. And if I was getting custom fit for an iron or a driver, any clubs right now, the one thing I'd be interested in is my impact location. Where am I hitting it on that club face? And how does performance deteriorate when I'm not finding the center? So in this video, again, we'll be looking at impact location on both irons. Where did I strike the ball in terms of the club face? And can we see any massive fall offs when we're not quite getting it out of the center? And that's a big comparison between the two irons. Now, whilst loft is a big issue for many, many people, the things that you need to be looking at more closely is what I've just mentioned. Launch angle, descent angle, and that spin number. And that's the combination of all three of those things that make a huge difference to how your ball is getting from A to B and how much loft is impacting on performance. And again, We'll look at that closely and how much that two and a half degrees difference in terms of strength aloft of the seven iron makes in overall performance. Now, one final factor that you might wish to look at is sound and feel, because let's not forget the P790 is a forged hollow bodied iron. So there could be a deciding factor there for many of you. 
And one of the reasons that uh, there's a cost difference will certainly be the fact that this is a forged iron. But how much difference is there in terms of sound and feel? And is that a big separator? Right, okay, so that is balls hit, dry ball data collected. I'm gonna start off very, very simply with dispersion charts. Everybody likes to see where these things go in terms of dispersion. Start off with the seven irons. What you can see there is both are very, very tightly grouped, nothing to separate them. You can already see there's a bit of a yardage distance, uh, difference, which we'll get to very, very shortly. You pop into the five iron of the two clubs as well. Maybe the P790 was a little bit looser, but I would suggest again, that's down to my swing rather than the performance of the club. But certainly in left to right dispersion, very, very similar. We'll look at front to back dispersions when we get into the full numbers. But I'm gonna put those numbers in front of you now. I'll put the averages for now, and I'll put all the data at the end for those of you who wanna break it down shot by shot. But averages alone, have a look at these and tell me what you think in terms of these differences. Now, my opinion is quite simple. The only thing that separates these two clubs is the strength of loft. If you have a look at both the seven iron and then the numbers that you see off the five iron, the yardage difference, the launch angle differences, the spin number differences, the descent angle differences, and the ball speeds are all different for one reason and one reason only. And that's because of the strength of loft or the difference in loft between the two clubs. The final thing I wanna show you is this, because this is the key for me for average, got average golfers who wanna buy a new set of irons. Here's a few shots that show impact location on both irons. Some with the seven iron you'll see, some with the five iron you'll see. What it demonstrates to me is that both of these are equally as forgiving. What I didn't see was any extra forgiveness in the bulkier stealth club, and both clubs with off center hits, as you can see with the numbers they produced, performed incredibly well. And that's the key and important factor for me. So my overall summary is this. If you're really hung up on the way a club looks and the way a club sounds and the way it feels, then I would think you'll pay the extra 40 pound to go to the P790. But if none of those things are a major factor for you, then on a performance level alone, to me, the Stealth does an incredibly good job. And in terms of its performance, in terms of its strength of loft, the only difference between the two is you'll go from sand wedge through to possibly six iron as being the longest iron in the bag if you went down the stealth route, and you'll go pitching wedge through to five iron if you went down the P790 route. You will have all your yardages covered within those iron ranges of the two. They just shift slightly because of the strength of lofts. It's that simple. Right. I hope we tried to keep this one as concise as possible. As ever, you take your time to analyze the data that's coming at the end, pick fault with it, disagree with me if you wish, put down the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the P790 versus the Stealth? How do we get on? Thanks for watching, see you soon.